Hello world! This is the second part of my video about neural networks in Scared Tricks. Hey, I show you my implementation of this stuff in Unreal Engine. If you haven't watched the first video, please look at it. So at first I want to show you a really cool way how to skin skirts using neural network approach. The tool I found is incredible. It's Dembones. You can find it on GitHub. It's a skin in decomposition uh, tool by Electronic Arts. You can download it and use. Electronic Arts, I love your football. Thanks a lot for the game. The purpose of the tool is to obtain a skinning weights and bones position by analyzing a mesh animation. You just provide geometric animation in a Lambic file and the tool finds optimal bones position and skinning weights. It's really fantastic. I want to show you how it works. As you remember, I have a scene in Maya to simulate dynamics with n clause. Here you see another type of skirt, and actually it's not easy to place bones correctly here and pine skin weights properly, because the skirt is not symmetric and has deep folds. This scene I used to collect data for the network. Also here I save each pose animation in a separate Alembic file. Finally I get a hundred of Alembic caches per leg. Then I wrote a script to combine all these Alembic files into a single file, each one with an offset. The final cache looks like this. It has a very long animation, it's about 10,800 uh, frames. So I use this data to feed it to the Bones uh, program. I use the following command line. So here I use my cloth uh, simulation as an input. This is my bind pose. It's just a uh, geometry in default position. And I use 32 bones with uh, four bones per vertex. So I run it and uh, wait for maybe uh, two minutes. Then I get a final result and uh, let's look at it. It's quite, it's very interesting. Import it. And you see the difference. Here is cloth animation, here is animation uh, in skin cluster. Let's look at it, it's really incredible. I use here in skin cluster 32 bones, and uh, these bones animated as, uh, like my cloth. And you see the difference is very, very small. And even this in this baggy pose, you see that the difference is not too much. Let's see the differences between manual skinning and bones placement and uh, automatically using them bones. So here these joints is my bones. I placed it here in the middle and in the bottom of the skirt. And these bones calculated automatically. Each bone has quite strange position. I don't know why. It's because of uh, the my cloth animation. So compare compare the results. You see that this deformation is much uh, smoother, and uh, penetrations here you find. A neural neural network here is the same. Uh, the same parameters configuration. Now it's time to go to Unreal and see how I implemented it there. I wrote a plugin for Unreal like I did in Maya. The plugin is called Skirt. It has a single node called uh, Skin Rig NN. So the animation without my plugin is like this. It's walking and then running. The skirt is not moving. So then I pass my animation through my plugin and get my skirt working. I forget about this connection. Let's play. Mm -hmm. The deformations are the same as in Maya. Uh -huh. Even more, I should connect this to get interesting results. Now I can change my leg position in runtime. So you see that skirt is walking.
nice run using one deck. Um, even more, I use IK to test it. This character may remove this, remove this, and remove this one. So play. And you see that the skirt, mm -hmm. the skirt is working. And this leg works as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of duplicates. It's annoying when I'm pressing Alt and trying to move, I get a duplicate. So this work at it's quite cool. Finally, I've tested my neural network skirt trick in my phone. I have Realme 5, the scene has 30 characters. So this is performance without any skirt tricks in the scene. So I get about 52 uh, FPS. This is uh, the scene with the skirt trick. Uh, narrow network has two hidden layers, each one with 50 uh, nodes. So here I have uh, 47 FPS, not bad for 30 characters. I think it's very good. Here is she lost. Thank you very much for watching. I think it was uh, very interesting for you to watch.